Throughout the course, you're going to need to learn a whole bunch of solubility rules, as well as flame tests. Now, the problem with these solubility rules in particular is that there are so, so many of them, and they can be really, really difficult to learn. There are so many different rules that applying it to a set of circumstances, particularly under test conditions, can be almost impossible. But we're here to help. We've got a bit of a shortcut that's gonna help you memorize your solubility rules without too much hassle. And the shortcut is called NAGSAG. Sounds a little bit weird, but stick with me. NAGSAG stands for nitrates are all soluble, acetates are all soluble, group one ions are all soluble, sulfates are soluble, ammonium is soluble, and group seven ions are soluble. As you can see, NAGSAG spells out those particular solubility rules. However, a number of the rules have exceptions. There are two exceptions that you need to know, the PMS exception and the castro bear exception. Now PMS stands for plumbum, which is the same as lead, mercury, and silver. And castro bear stands for calcium, strontium, and barium. As you can see, these exceptions apply in particular circumstances. And the best way to get an understanding of that is to apply it to a factual scenario. For example, let's have a look at silver nitrate. Silver nitrate is going to be soluble because all nitrates are soluble and there are no exceptions to that rule. However, silver sulfate will be insoluble because whilst all sulfates are soluble, the exception that applies to sulfate includes silver. So you can use these solubility rules to have a good idea of when solutions will and won't be soluble. In this course, you also need to be able to use flame tests. Flame tests are where we put a small amount of a liquid into a Bunsen burner flame and observe the change in color of that flame. An example is barium. If you put barium ions in flame, it'll turn apple green. Or if you use calcium ions, it'll turn a brick red. You can come up with a whole bunch of mnemonic devices to remember these. However, there aren't very many of them, and as a result, they're not too difficult to learn. We hope that this video has helped to clarify some of the solubility rule requirements, and best of luck in learning them. Stay tuned for lots more chemistry videos. Mm -hmm.